What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Chris Gunther Show. Thank y'all so much for watching. Remember to like and share this video. I would greatly appreciate it. On today's show, we are so honored that the CEO and the co-founder and the chief executor of the 40 Tons brand, Miss L'Oreal, is with us today. L'Oreal, how you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you, Chris. I'm excited to be here and chat with you and your listeners. Well, first of all, I want to give you your flowers, all right, because you're a queen, you're doing so many amazing things in your organization and doing like this is the kind of cool part about my show that I just love. I love seeing our queens elevate and I said it off camera. I'll say it on camera. The greatest creation that the good Lord ever made was a black woman. So props to y'all and everything that y'all do. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's get right into it. Can you share with us a little bit about 40 Tons? Yeah, um, 40 Tons is a social impact brand. Um, we believe nobody should be locked up um, over weed. And we have uh, several things that we do within the company that, um, you know, I'd like to share. We have a cannabis brand, um, advocacy, uh, clothing, and uh, careers. I love the fact that, you know, you guys are very versatile hitting on things that a lot of people nowadays kind of shy away from. Like, I remember growing up, we used to always hear about, you know, staying away from taboo topics such as cannabis and things of that, you know, nature. But nowadays, people's perspective on it has changed. Has your perspective on the whole like on the whole cannabis space changed since you started to work with it a little bit? Yes, it has changed. Um, just just in the past decade, it's changed a, a, a great deal. As you know, most states are coming on board uh, with legalization. And, um, you know, there's just great opportunity there for black and brown folks to really um, begin the quest for generational wealth. You know, um, this is uh, something, you know, cannabis has been around for uh, centuries and and you know it's about time that we uh get our fair opportunity to to be in that space legally i'm glad you mentioned that legally because you know i am a firm advocate that there are some people particularly those that look like us that are incarcerated right now for weed and things of that nature but you have other people that get significantly lesser sentences for the foolishness and it just kind of makes me sit back and say wow yeah, um, I was actually right in the middle of something very, very similar. Um, my husband, who is not black, and our friend, who is black, uh, they were on the same indictment. They got caught uh, selling weed without a license. Uh, my husband gets a much lighter sentence. I know why. Um, and unfortunately, our friend, he got a life sentence without the possibility of parole. Um Fast forward, we champion behind the scenes, um, you know, advocating and um, partnering with other organizations to kind of amplify his message, his voice. And um, on one of the last presidency's um, uh, days in office, he was uh, granted a presidential clemency. And that was a huge win for us. And we've been going on the ground ever since uh, advocating for black and brown folks, for equality, for, you know, advancement and ownership and in in the uh, legal cannabis space without going into all of the details of that case what did that case really show you about america that maybe you probably were blind to before then oh man uh it showed me that you know uh if you don't have the resources and um the money um and the knowledge of what the justice system is all about, then you will get swallowed up. And that's exactly what what happened to him. And it was infuriating to me, um, knowing that both these men on the same case got vastly different sentences. And uh, you can't prove it. But, um, you know, you know, it deep down in your core that, you know, those reasons of racism and inequality and things like that, um, you know, but it didn't stop us from champion behind the scenes to, um, you know, ultimately getting uh, his freedom. And he is our chief brand ambassador for 40 tons. And, um, you know, we are advocating for others on our website as well. Um, so we we continue to do our part in, um, you know, bringing awareness to this issue. Speaking about bringing awareness, you guys actually are getting ready to have a business expo that is coming up. Can you tell us about it? 
Yes, I'm so excited about this, Chris. This will be our fifth city. Um, we've done others in East and West Coast, and now we're in the Midwest. We'll be bringing our career conference and expo center to Chicago on a very pivotal day, Juneteenth. I mean, it's a day of liberation, right, for Black folks. So um, this is an experiential um, event that will be taking place. Like we held back, you know, nothing. You can come and get, you know, register and you can come and get um, your resume built. Uh, there'll be workshops there. There'll be professional headshots that you can take. Um, we have expungement uh, center wraparound services for folks who have a criminal record and wanting to get that um, cleared. Um, begin that process there. Um, we're bringing um, diverse talent there. There'll be uh, exhibitors. Um, uh, we have some great exhibitors as, as well um, and keynote speakers and workshops. So it is an, a comprehensive event that I implore everybody to register and come on out and, and begin your career. For you as somebody that is one of the head people of this entire thing, how great does it feel for you to be able to make sure that while we're having this event, that we're also still highlighting the significance of Juneteenth? Oh my gosh, it is. Um, I feel inspired every time we have a conference and I have, you know, several people that I've watched from our very first conference in Hawthorne, California, um, you know, be very afraid of going into an interview and actually answering that question. Do you have a conviction? And, um, you know, her answering yes. And fast forward two years later, she's still with the same company and she's a manager. Right. So um, it is absolutely refreshing to see um, people of color, black and brown folks excelling in um, in, in this uh, lane. This lane is not an easy lane to operate in because, you know, let's just go ahead and call it a spade a spade. <laughs> the chances of us getting ahead in this country have always been significantly slim because of the hand that has been played to us. But, you know, we've overcome a whole lot. We've overcome things that the average person would have crumbled under. How have yeah. you managed to stay motivated even when the cards were kind of stacked against you? Yes. Um, you know, through the grace of God. And like you said early on, Chris, um, the the women that helped raise me and shape me and mold me into the woman that I am today, um, they were strong pillars in the community. And I saw that strength and they instilled that in, into me. And um, it is my my job, my responsibility, my duty to pay it forward to those that look like me, helping them build ownership within um, the cannabis industry. Um, so I take great pride in that. When you look out in the crowd, when you're at these events and you see that the people are coming in, but in a sense, it's providing hope for those that need a, a second chance. What does that do for you? Oh, man, I, I still get emotional thinking about this, but it gives me. Um, more fuel to keep going, right? Because there's so many more people that need my help and your help as you're allowing me to be on this platform, right? It's your small part of paying it forward. So it gives me um, this, this resiliency that I need to keep on going even though I get knocked down. Can you share with us a little bit about how the conference will promote we're trying to restore justice? and things of that nature. Can like you share with that? Can you share that with us just a little bit? Yeah, the the conference is to bring diverse talent in into um all job aspects, right? Um I want to say like people need to be given this opportunity and education and this and the support in order to uh, better themselves and create generational wealth for themselves. When all of this is said and done, what is the number one thing that you want people to take away from not only coming to the expo, but by connecting with you? Oh, I want them to take away that they can um, be in this world and do whatever they like 
to have happen and know that you have the support of myself, my team, 40 tons, the person next to you, that we all are going to lock arms and build you up and support you. And whatever that looks like, if that means, you know, getting your resume built, okay, fine, let's start from, from there. Or it means that you already are in your career and you kind of just want to level things up for yourself. Like I'm here to help in any way that I can. And I'm a genuine, um, honest person. And, you know, I, 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 we've been doing this uh, two years now and, and it's already our fifth city. So um, everybody needs to just hook on their caboose to this train because the 40 tons train is moving. So come on. What would you say to somebody that is kind of on the fence about maybe coming and they're probably thinking like, man, this ain't nothing but another opportunity for me to go in here. They're going to get my hopes up and I walk out more discouraged than I came in. Oh, I want to say, you know, if people are, are teetering on whether they should come to the conference, the Level Up Career Conference in Chicago, I would say take that out of your mind. Uh, this event is not is going to cost you absolutely nothing. It is free for you to participate. And why wouldn't you want to jump on that opportunity to better yourself and better your family circumstances? Um, there is testimonials that they can go and see online. Um, our website, uh, you know, all the socials, you can be able to check out, you know, people who have participated, um, employers who have hired um, is absolutely real thing. And I implore everybody to um, take this opportunity to heart and run with it and tell a friend and tell a friend, you know, if you may not be able to make it, maybe you just send the the link to a couple of your other friends that you know are, are looking for um, career advancement and, and job opportunities. Before we get out of here, last couple of questions that I always have to ask the guests, especially when they have events going on. Can you share with us a little bit more about the like where it's going to be at, the dates, and how people can find out more about it? Yes. So the Level Up Career Conference and Expo will be um, hosted by uh, Good Green, and they are, and it'll be in the city of Chicago at the Malcolm X College, uh, 1600 West Jackson. Uh, you will you will need to register. The website to register would be 40tonscareers.com. And you just need to put in a few pieces of your information. Again, it's absolutely free for you to attend. And come on out and see, see how you can level yourself up. One of the last questions I always ask my guests is, who would you like to see me do an interview with next? And if you have any contact information, do you think you could help a young brother out? Yes, Chris. I think the next person you should interview would be our chief career officer, uh, Brandon Mitchell, a uh, young brother that is doing his thing in the tech space, in the career space. Um, and he he is just a plethora of knowledge and information. And I think you'll be uh, your listeners will, will definitely want to stay tuned for that. And yes, I do have his contact information for you. Hey, well, let's go ahead and set that up. It's kind of crazy because a very good friend of mine has that exact same name. So that's <laughs> definitely a small world. Well, nothing else needs to be asked L'Oreal. But also, before we jump out here, can you give us your social media handle so people can follow? Yeah, so give us a follow uh, across all the socials. Is Forty Tons Brand? That's four zero T O N S Brand um, across all the socials. If you want to check out our website, that's Forty Tons Co. And again, please register for the upcoming career conference in Chicago at Forty Tons Careers com. And also make sure that Forty Tons follows the Chris Gunther Show. I just want to go ahead and put that signals plug out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Absolutely. You got it. As soon as we get off, I'm going to send in the ad request. You got it, Chris. Appreciate it. Well, Lori, thank you so much for your time today. We greatly appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, L'Oreal, CEO of 40 Tons on the Chris Gunther Show. Shout out to Front Page Firm. Tasha, thank you for hooking us up. God bless. Cue my theme song. See y'all next time.